Hi. So today we are going to amazing Thailand. Thailand was formerly known as Siam and officially is the king of Thailand. Kingdom of Thailand is a country in the Southeast Asia. Thailand is a multi-ethnic nation with a population over 64.1 million people. That is a lot of people. Okay. Since you already know, the capital of Thailand is Bangkok. It is one of the most populated and populated cities of Thailand and the third populated of Southeast Asia, only preceded by Jakarta and Manila. These are two places. Now, where is Thailand located? See, here's a map of Thailand. It's bordered with red. Thailand is bordered to the north by Myanmar and Laos, to the east by Laos and Cambodia, to the south by Gulf of Thailand and Malaysia, and in the west by the Andaman Sea and the southern extremity of Myanmar. Okay, see, this is the Andaman Sea. This is Cambodia. This is Myanmar. This is Laos. And it's pretty clear from here. Another name for Myanmar? What? Burma. Burma. Oh, okay. That's nice. Ma'am, actually, Thailand and Cambodia share borders. Actually, so, Thailand and Cambodia, so they, are, they are sharing borders. See? Can you see in the map? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the national language? The national language is Thai, which is also called Siamese. And it is the standard spoken and literacy language of Thailand, belonging to Thai language family of the Southeast Asia. Oh. See, these are, the, these are few of the alphabets. These are few of the alphabets of the Thai language. Okay. Everything looks like a U. Yeah, it looks like a U, no? Just a curved one. Yeah. Okay, now the national flag. The flag of this kingdom of Thailand shows five horizontal strips in the colors red, white, blue, white, and red with the central blue strip being twice as, wide, twice as wide as each of the other four. See, the red one, there's the red one, the white one, and then the blue one is twice as white, twice as big, sorry. Twice as big, and then there's white again, and then there is red again. This is the national flag of Thailand. Looks like a lot of colors. Yeah, it, it looks For like a it. flag that is. Yes. Next is the currency, the national currency. So the currency is Bhat. It is the official currency of Thailand. Thai what? Thai Bhat. Yes. One Thai Bhat. Yes, it's Thai Bhat. Yes. One Thai Bhat is equal to 2.31 Indian rupees. Okay. These are the coins. See, these are all the coins and the notes. 20, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. And these are the coins. Uh, is, uh, two point what? It two was 2.30? 2 2.31 Indian rupees. Oh. It equals to 1 Thai one. Now, the national emblem. This is the national emblem. It's so colorful, no? Actually, so, it's looking like a falcon, like a god. Yes, it does. So, the national and royal symbol of Thailand is Garuda, the mm -hmm. mount of Lord Vishnu. Thailand uses the Garuda as his national symbol, known as the Prakrut Pa which means Garuda, the vehicle of Vishnu, and is also used as a symbol of royalty. It looks like a very royal symbol, no? 
Okay. Yeah, it looks it's very red and the bright the colors are so bright. See, yellow yeah. and red. And it blue. is actually a bright country. Yeah. So, what are the national bird flowers oh, and animals? Yeah, the, the national bird is the Siamese fireback. See, there's the picture of the bird. Looks pretty, red. looks 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 pretty cute. Yeah, no, looks pretty cute with a red spot on its eye. Looks very cute. Very, very, very cute. <laughs> then the national flower. The national flower is the golden shower flower. That is also very pretty. See, white and yellow, molding it in one color. Almost, almost looks like, almost looks like the normal white flowers that we get here in India. Periwinkle, periwinkle. No. Not periwinkle. I forgot the name, but it does look like something you would find on the streets of India as well. Yeah. See? Like jasmine. Not like jasmine. Jasmine is completely white and it's very elongated. And seeing that. Right side, it has also the same design. Kind of, kind of. Okay, now the national animal, as Abhi said, is the Thai elephant. It's called Thailandian elephant. It's, it's a longer Thailandian name. Elephant. Okay, so these are the Thailandian elephant with the long trunk and the long teeth. Yeah. And Arhan wants to pet them. Okay. He wants to pet this Thai Thailandian elephants in his backyard. And we will all go and see how he pets his elephants. We will all ride his elephant. Okay. <laughs> and the national architecture is Sala Thai. See, this is a picture of the place. which is known as the Sala Thai. Another, another monument-like thing under a river. And no, no, it's the reflection. It's the reflection of the monument on the water. See? Yeah. It's like on the, it's water. Beside, on the water. It looks like the river is beside it. Actually, it looks like the river is beside it. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's on top of, built on top of the river and it's kind of a bridge thing. So the reflection feels like. Ma'am, you yes. will see. It's like a, there are two worlds. One is upper world and one is down world. In both yes. the things, the uh, Sala Thai is there. Yes, it looks like that. Okay. Now we will watch the video after the two. Okay. Now we'll learn about the government of Thailand. The government of Thailand, or formally, which is also known as the Royal Thai Government, is the unitary government of the Kingdom of Thailand. And it also has a prime minister in the government, Prayut Chanocha. Okay. His name is Prayut Chanocha. Now we come to cuisines. So the cuisines involve Thai curries, somtam salad, tom yum soup, fat tom Thai yum. noodles, and chicken satay. Yummy. Yes? I, just, yes. I don't like any. I don't like any. They don't look nice. They don't look nice. I just mm -hmm. love the first one. Which one? Uh, there is Curry. chicken or red me cuisine. Uh, it's right. The chicken lollipops kind of. Achha, achha, yeah. I, I love I that see. one. I see that. <laughs> I can't see that. I can't see that. Okay. Although I'll, I'll feel I want to eat it. <laughs> we don't even know if that is chicken, by the way. Yeah, but it looks like. It looks like, it looks like meat, cooked meat. And lettuce, I guess. Cabbage or lettuce. Uh, you can eat the noodles, though. Noodles are pretty much same all over the world. Then we come to the airlines. 
we have the Bangkok Airways. Yes, the Bangkok Airways. See how colorful the flight is, no? Yeah. Wasn't it Thai Airways? Yeah, yeah. There are other airways too. We are just going on. We are just learning the names of the airways. I thought it was Thai Air. Me too. That's no. Not Air. No, nice. <laughs> yeah. No. It looks, it looks like a toy airplane, no? Knock air. We kind of painted. Thai air. See, this is the Thai air Asia. Doesn't look any different. Thai air Asia. This is the Thai air Asia. It looks more similar to uh, what do you say, spice jet? Yeah, it does. Cool. It does red and white. So red it does and look white. like look like spice jet a lot. Thai air Asia. My favorite uh, combination of colors is also uh, black and uh, black white. Yes, but the this one was more colorful, no? The Bangkok Airways. Very. By the way, it looked like. Uh, by the way, it, I thought it could have been Thai Air. Otherwise, no, it's Thai Air Asia, which we you which we usually say as Air Asia. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying saying the main airline. Hmm. Could have been Thai Air, right? The purplish one. Maybe they tried to change the design, like change it into Bangkok because Bangkok is a capital so maybe they thought that would fit better. Hmm, correct. Okay. I guess. Okay. So this is the end Thank of the you. presentation and now we will go see the video. Okay. And we'll talk like it yeah yeah tell me tell me the facts that you researched about thailand okay i'm doing the facts now yes we are doing the I'm facts can I tell? me too okay arika go first yes ma'am wait a second ma'am i wanted to say one thing that Thailand what? was the only South Asian country that was never colonized with a European by an uh, European country. In fact, the Thai language, uh, the name of the country is a, a Prati Thai, which means land of the free. Very fitting. Okay, that's interesting. I searched about this fact. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Thailand is where you will find both the smallest and largest creatures. The smallest mammal in the world, the bumbly bat, calls Thailand home. You can also find the largest fish, the whale, in Thai waters. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now? I have, I have one more fact. Okay, go ahead. The Irrawaddy dolphin, the, hmm. the Irrawaddy dolphin is an ocean dolphin found in the South, Southeast Asia, and in the Bay of Bengal, as well okay. as in the in Thailand. Okay, so these are wild ocean dolphins, as it, right? As it, as it, turn, as it turns we out. Find over there, uh, we can find a sun bear also over there, I guess. Okay. Turns, turns yes, out Abby? there are a lot, turns out there are a lot of coral reefs there. Yeah, but not the largest amongst all. Australia yeah. has the largest. Yeah. yeah. The coral reefs are very beautiful. Actually, they are very beautiful. 
they are all being destroyed because of pollution yeah global warming not good at all not all but some are very polluted okay who else has more facts ma'am tomorrow which country we are visiting At tomorrow, oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Tomorrow, we will be visiting Turkey. Huh? huh? Turkey. 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 Yes. Turkey. It's also a name of a bird. Yeah. Yes. That only I got in mind. You know, they eat the Thanksgiving dinner. They roast the, they make the turkey, they bake the turkey, and they eat the Ew. turkey Thanksgiving dinner. I didn't oh, do you nothing. Eat... Oh. Why you eat you eat chicken, right? You eat chicken, so that is basically the kind of bird they like to eat. That is not disgusting to them. It is disgust. It may be disgusting to you. That is food for them. What did you like most about Thailand? Tell me one by one. Yes, ma'am. I like the best places to visit. Ah, the places to visit. You like the beaches and the forests, yeah. no? Yes. The scuba diving. Yeah, the scuba diving. I'm going to do it. Once You're I go. I'm going to do it. The elephant part. <laughs> yeah. Can you say one more thing? Yes. And tell what I like of Thailand the most. Actually, when I saw the Lord, if you have observed in the video, once they showed a photo of a pic of Lord Buddha. Actually, I just recall that over there they follow some Buddhism, so I like it very much. I know. Yeah, they follow Buddhism too. Little bit, yeah. yeah. And man, you know one fact okay. that Diwali over there, that that their specific country celebrates the Diwali most. Um, the it celebrates Diwali most uh, like in India they celebrate nicely Diwali over there they celebrate more Diwali over there so that is the only country that is the number one country in celebrating Diwali. Okay, yeah, so in Diwali time you are going to Bangkok, right? No, <laughs> with all the firecrackers. And all the sweets you are spending at it least in Diwali. I know, I, at least, at least I know four countries who have Diwali now. Okay, name them. Obviously, India. And then right now, I just learned it's Thailand, Nepal, maybe. Yeah, and correct. Uh, Nepal and UK celebrates a little. UK has the largest celebration of Diwali outside of India. Actually, Indian people are only living in UK, so that's why they are celebrating Diwali also. The British are not going to celebrate Diwali, no. That's the thing. Yes, Arika. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to show one thing. Wait yes. a second. Hmm. Yes, I wanted to show this. This is Lord Buddha and amazing Thailand. Oh, so pretty. And yes. I have a magnet of Dubai, and it's all in gold. Once again, I'll yes. show you. Okay. Even I have Lord Buddha at my house also, just beside me. Yeah, Lord. Ah, having a Lord statue of Lord Buddha is good. Ah, Dubai. Yeah, oh yeah, there is Burj Al Arab also. You bring it too close to the camera. No one can see. Yes, yes. Now we can. Oh yeah, Burj Al Arab. Turns out I'm going to Dubai once. You Burj Khalifa, this one. Turns out I'm going to Dubai. Turns out I'm going to Dubai. And this is the Burj Al Arab. This one. Okay. Turns out I've gone to Dubai once and I've seen it and I've and I've seen and you know, you know it's over there almost everything is of gold almost. Yes, because we learned the that you know, gold. The we learned the gold. 
Yes, we learned that they know that Middle East is the richest region of the entire world. Qatar is the richest country. So Qatar, Dubai, they are all very rich countries because they trade oil with the entire world. That's why everything they have is made of gold. They have sheikhs and everything, princes and sheikhs. You know, they have cheetahs and leopards for pets. Ah, uh, yeah, I know that. Yes. Oh, That's how, how can rich they are. Uh, I'm like an elephant, uh, not a cheetah it. or anything. That's how rich they are. So obviously, everything they have is made of gold. Yeah. Definitely, keeping cheetahs and leopards in is not a good idea. Yeah. Well, you can't. You can't do anything. Uh, are about we that. going to UAE? To, uh, are we going there? Yes. Yes. So I guess so. Yes, we will be going there as well. One country at a time, and we'll go there. Okay. So, what do you, Manvi? Okay, so I hope you all have enjoyed your tour to the Thailand. So we will meet tomorrow and we will visit Turkey. So you all have to find out some amazing facts of Turkey, all right? So okay. amazing facts. Yes. Okay, so bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye. bye. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. bye. bye.